All right, I don't normally do this. If you've been following my content uh, for any length of time, you'll know that I'm really, I'm a pretty reasonable person. I always try to look at things from, from multiple perspectives uh, when it comes to whatever, I mean, real life issues or issues within the video game industry. Um, announcements of payment models, uh, design decisions, you know, I, I try to see both sides. I can't do it here. I can't do it. Look, I've been talking about The Elder Scrolls Online for, I think it's been about a year now since I first started doing coverage, and it's a game that I was really excited for. Uh, initially, I thought this was going to be my next big thing. You know, there was a time in my history where StarCraft and then Diablo were the big things that I was all about. And I thought The Elder Scrolls Online was going to be that. And it still could, but they're making it really damn hard right now. So what are we talking about? What's, uh, what's all the fuss about? Well, last night there was a leaked image about a collector's edition, and people were all in a tissy because there was some news about possibly having this exclusive Imperial race that you could play at, and a few other bonuses. And, you know, none of it was confirmed, so I just thought, okay, well, <clears throat> if this is true, that, that sucks, but for now, what, we'll wait on official word from ZeniMax. Well, so happens I wake up this morning and I have a press release from the company saying, hey guys, you can pre-order now. Here's a collector's edition, here's what's included. And that's where I think the line got crossed for me personally. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm talking about here. I'm gonna take a quick uh, stroll over to the internets. First, I'd like to show you the, just the digital standard edition. This is if you just feel like pre-purchasing the game. So they say things like, you know, oh, explore the Elder Scrolls online, play the way you like, blah, blah, blah. It's all just marketing speak. Here's some pre-order bonuses. Get to play the game five days early. Okay, that, that happens a lot in pre-orders. Play as any race in any alliance. Your characters can join any of the alliances no matter which race you choose. For a very long time, they were really pushing the idea that there are three alliances and three races for each of them. So there was nine total alliances that were playable. And uh, up until this morning, we still thought there were nine. And now it looks like you can uh, mix and match however you like. Uh, that's good for getting to play with friends. I think it's gonna kind of screw with the entire story of the game, the lore. But you know, in the past, uh, you've been able to, to sort of mix and match in Elder Scrolls games. I mean, that's sort of a big selling point of the single player series. But for this MMO, it made sense for them to have three distinct alliances and three races for each because they were trying to do this this pvp that was focused on these three different alliances and trying to balance it out but you know this this i'm not super upset about it's just an interesting change of heart um <clears throat> get a pet who cares and a bonus treasure map uh, some people might be upset about that initially but come on welcome to the internet it, it a wiki is going to fulfill any needs and more that you're going to get from a stupid treasure map. So don't worry about that. So this, you know, the, the digital original the standard edition isn't so bad. But we're going to hop on over now to the Imperial edition. And this is where things go south very fast. First of all, <clears throat> we just talked about how there are nine races in the game. There were three alliances. There were three races per alliance. If you pre-order... The Collector's Edition, titled the Imperial Edition, you can play as an Imperial. Play as an Imperial and play in any alliance. Gain unique bonuses, crafting styles, gear, and more. What are those bonuses? Those are ra racial features. You know, that's, that's what we're assuming they are. But based on this wording, and based on the fact that this is notable, specifically to the Collector's Edition, what this means is you can only play as an Imperial if you buy the Collector's Edition. How do I know this? How do I not know that it's just not that you can play an Imperial if uh, in any of the alliances, you know? So some people are saying, oh, you can still play as an Imperial in-game. Yeah, I'm sure you can. It's just that you get to do it in any alliance. No, there is no way that that's true because a bonus for the Standard Edition is that you get to play any race in any alliance. Any race in the game in any alliance. So if that were true, then, then the, this Imperial would not be a selling point of the Collector's Edition. This is Collector's Edition exclusive race. Why is this a problem? This is a problem because this game has a box price plus a subscription fee. 
I am okay with those two things. I support those two things. I wish that more MMOs took that model. The reason I like that model, you pay up front, okay? You pay the subscription fee. This ensures a steady stream of content. The developer is getting paid. They don't have to worry about cutting staff if there's a crappy month and they have to get rid of support staff and you try to call up the company to fix something because your account got hacked and you can't reach anybody because they because it's a free-to-play game and they had a shitty month, so they had to fire a bunch of people. <clears throat> you don't have to worry about that, typically, with sub-fee games. The great thing about sub-fee games is that it's supposed to include everything in the game. The reason I like sub -fee games is because you don't have to put up with bullshit. This sort of bullshit. This is terrible. An exclusive race to the collector's edition. But wait, there's more. Imperial White Horse. Summon this Imperial Mount and journey through Tamriel with increased speed. Okay, well, that might not be that bad, actually, because now that I'm thinking about it, they could just be talking to the fact that you get increased speed above normal running speed. Uh, many people are taking this to mean, though, that uh, you get increased speed over other mount speed. They're, that's very vague, though, so there's no way. I was about to try to ream that out, but I'm actually not sure about that. Beyond that, there's Mudcrab Vanity Pet, who gives a crap. Oh, but check out this. One last thing, guys. The Rings of Mara. Complete the Ritual of Mara with a friend and receive an experience bonus. WHEN YOU PLAY TOGETHER! COME ON, MAN! These rings are supposed to be in-game. People are telling me that these rings are in-game. I have no way of confirming that, but let's say that they are. You're not gonna get them right away, and this completely screws over the whole social race to end-game. And some people hate it, okay? I hate it! Why, why do people want to race to the end game? I don't like that people do that. Look, whatever. If you don't like it, that's cool. But this is a legit thing with MMOs that don't have cash shops. It, it's the notion that who's going to be world first? And it's cool. It's a social thing. There's a zeitgeist behind it. Everyone's like, oh, these two guys are at the top. They're close. Who's going to sleep less? Who's going to have someone else play their account? You know, there's, there, there's that whole thing. There's that whole social aspect. And even if you hate it, it's still a, a part of uh, the zeitgeist and the excitement behind a launch of a brand new MMO. It's the race to endgame. It's the race to max level. And this just bones that right up. That, it just, it's going to be... The, the <laughs> All that's going to happen now is whoever gets endgame, it's, whoever gets max level first, it's going to be like the two people who bought a collector's edition, you know? And, and if you didn't buy a collector's edition, you, you're, you're not in that race. Uh, to some people, that's not as big of a deal. But that just pisses me right off. I can't get over this Imperial thing. Look, Zenimax, the developer. Bethesda, the publisher. You done goofed. You screwed up. You, you missed the shot. You dropped the ball. Whatever terminology you want to use, this is bullcrap. This is a box-priced game with a subscription fee that I desperately wanted to be an amazing game and that I desperately wanted to support. I'm still gonna play this game. But this is making it hella difficult to suggest to people. This is cool if the game's free to play. This is even cool if you just have a box price. If you're doing something like Guild Wars 2, fine, whatever. You're throwing in a cash shop because you don't, you're not taking monthly subscriptions. This is a cash grab. This is a damn cash grab. I wanted, I wanted, this is, what, this is why I'm upset. Because I really, really, really wanted to like this game. I can't support this. I can't support this. And I don't think you should either. Um, join me in being upset about this. Please, raise your voice. Sign a stupid online petition. They normally don't do anything. But do what you need to. I think that this should be... I think whoever's pre-ordered should get refunded, and I think that they should change these bonuses. Or they should drop the subscription fee of the game. Make a choice. This really sucks. This makes me sad. I am mad because I'm sad. That's it, guys. Keep owning. This is bullcrap.